the amazing Dale Bagley. The amazing. Put together the theater world awards. Gail, how did you become involved with the theater? Um, I joined the board of directors of Theater World Awards about six years ago and then matriculated to the president of the Theater World Awards five years ago. Um, it is an institution that I'm so passionate about. It's been around since 1945, and we honor six men and six women for outstanding Broadway or off-Broadway debut. Uh, this is our 74th annual. We have some amazing winners from some of the best shows here on Broadway right now. Harry Potter, of course, uh, Angels in America, uh, and we are so excited that Victor Garber is to receive the sixth annual John Wilson Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Theater, and it's going to be presented by his star on Broadway, Bernadette Peters. So we're having a whole Hello Dolly reunion here, and we couldn't be happier to be at once on this island to do a wonderful Broadway island party. I think it may be the first in a long time, that, or maybe the first ever, but we're doing a Broadway island party, and uh, we're, uh, we're, gonna, we're here to celebrate. Now, this is all about first performances. What yes. was the first performance that made you want to do theater? I was, uh, I believe, in second grade, I was Bert oh, yeah. and Mary Poppins. Um, and I may have had a full beard at that time, uh, being the middle. Um, and, and from that point on, I, you know, I believe in arts in the schools, music in the schools. It helps grow uh, the, the wonderful performers that we are. And uh, I moved to New York, I toured as a birdie all over the United States and Bye Bye Birdie, and I, I haven't looked back since. But we're so happy that we have Broadway's best, brightest, newest stars right here at Circle in the Square. We're with the wonderful Victor Garber, who I remember in Sweeney Todd. Huh. What was the first show that you did? Uh, well, uh, it was Ghosts uh, at the Roundabout Theater. That's why I'm here. Why I, why, I got, why I'm here today? Because they get, uh, got the Theater World Award for that performance. Wow. This is all about first performances. What was the first performance that you saw that made you want to do theater? Oh, uh, I was a child. I, I, I think I, I was. Uh, I, I think it was one of them was West Side Story, the touring company in uh, Toronto. Uh, that was a seminal experience for me. Now you've been doing a lot of the sci-fi movies and TV shows, um, and now you're back on Broadway. What do you find more fulfilling? Uh, I find uh, doing what I'm doing right now the most fulfilling. And what does winning a theater award award mean to you? Well. Uh, I, I won uh, the you Theater won World won, Award. Was that won. that was the beginning of my career, and this feels like it's sort of in my third act, and it feels an incredibly, uh, incredible acknowledgement and uh, uh, and just uh, an honor that's uh, this that I, I I would never have imagined would be so. I'm not sure about that first performance that like made me want to do it because I it was I was very young when I wanted to do this, but I remember being in high school and being like very inspired by a production of Take Me Out and Dennis O'Hare's performance in that. Um, I think he won a Tony for it. Um, I went and saw it a few times. I was 16 years old, and it's a performance that inspired me so completely um, to to keep it up and to keep. Keep uh, working towards it. We are with Neil Pepe from the Atlantic Theater. I take it you're re representing the Hangman. I am, Flynn. yes, I'm representing Johnny Flynn, the Hangman. I'm happy to be doing so. Now you're planning on bringing the Hangman back. Well, the hope is, yeah, we were we were trying to bring it to Broadway, and the hope is that sometime this coming season we'll be bringing it to Broadway. We've been partnering with Robert Fox, so we have, our fingers are crossed. Now, you run the Atlantic Theater Company. Yes, I do. What was the first performance that you saw that made you want to do theater? You know, that's a good question. I think my mother took me to see Equus when I was probably either late in grade school or early teenage years. I saw it in Boston, the touring company, and I was completely blown away by the play and the performances. So there was something about that. I also, I grew up in southern Vermont around a lot of artists, musicians, and actors. And so from an early age, I, I saw sort of the power of the arts, music, and theater. And so it kind of, I kind of got the bug. I'm Nicholas Barish. Um, I'm a past Theater World Award winner, and I'm here performing a little ditty. What are you performing? I'm performing a, a, a song 
about a body of water. That's all I'll say. I'll let the viewers figure it out. Now, you were nominated. You won for her. She Loves Me. Yes. What was the first performance that made you want to do theater? Oh my gosh, good question. Well, the first time I performed was in The Music Man as Winthrop, so that's when I think the bug bit me. I was like, oh, people clap for you while you're singing? That's nice. Um, but I saw a lot of Broadway shows, like Les Mis and Hairspray, and um, then I did West Side Story when I was a little tight, so I've just always been a fan of, of Broadway. And where can we see you now? Now I am at Columbia studying, because I'm a student. Um, but yeah, you can see me on the streets of New York. Walking to auditions. Which I do a lot. <laughs> what a crazy day. We're with the wonderful Mia Salaga who won her Theater World Award for Miss Saigon. Now, this is all about first performances. What performance inspired you to do theater? I started at seven years old, and I think I was already performing before I saw anybody do this. But I guess that first time out, it was The King and I. It was our Mrs. Anna. Uh, her name was Baby, is Baby Barretta. And I think it was her performance that kind of inspired all the little girls in that cast to want to be like her. Now, you've inspired a lot of girls to want to do theater. What is that feeling like to know that you're now the inspiration? It's a little bit weird, but if it means that more people get to take this on, then it only makes me happy.